The following is rants, ravings, and utterly opinions. If any of the views during this time offend you, please stop now. You have been warned. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Villain Say What? The podcast everyone knows nothing about. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the wonderful, the ultimate, the amazing Ohio. It's the only thing I have to say is, it's a place in Ohio. Now, Ohio is a very interesting place full of very wonderful and very colorful and characters that yeah you get them you know the ohio memes but i'm not talking about that today no 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 i'm talking about one particular place and we're gonna be gonna get right on into it but before anything please like share subscribe hit the bell notification whenever i upload you will be the first to know and yes this is going to be on my rumble and youtube channel so please support both of them if you can if not hey you know what it is what it is and now let's hop on into this Completed in 1912, yes, that's 111 years ago, this open-aired market has been around in Cleveland, Ohio for quite some time. And to this day, still has over 100 stalls and an outer 85-stall arcade that wraps around the outside of the building. Now, walking around the outside arcade area, you can see that there is a multitude, in fact, an extreme diversity of both pr produce and other non-perishable and perishable products. And these are all homegrown farmers. And th 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 this is the real deal if you want to come to Ohio, just for this alone. Now. I, myself, have been coming to this market ever since I was a little kid, and my mom and my dad would always bring me inside. And you know what? I want to show you guys the inside portion of it. Let's get on in there. Now, I know what you're thinking. V. This place is massive. I mean, massive. There are so many places to just go into and up to it just where do I start and where do I get where where do I start and where do I begin? Well, I'll tell you this much very first place you want to go is Steve gyros now Steve's gyros is one of the things that have been on man versus food and it, it is the place the first place you want to go to if you want a really good you know now I'm not saying you don't have to go there, but I'm saying if you don't go in there You're on American but there are places in there that you can go to that I haven't yet tried yet, but Steve's gyros are the best gyros in Cleveland right now. Now, once you have gotten your food, your gyro, you want to go up to the balcony area. And there's only one side that has this, but go up these set of stairs and all the way out here. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. This is a view and you could just sit right here. The lovely part about it is these seats right here, look at that, right outside, and all these seats right here are heated for your convenience. Yeah, they're a little slippery, a little slidery, but they're wonderful to sit on. And just like that, ah uh, yeah, look at that, that is beautiful. Now as soon as you got your taste of Cleveland, the next best thing to do is walk around and just look at all of the wonderful booths. I mean, look at all of these places. My personal favorite has to be Euro Suites, and Euro Suites, oh my goodness, all of it is handmade. And when I mean handmade, I mean, look at this. You cannot beat handmade. I mean, it is one of the things no one wants to talk about. Why does no one want to talk about it? Because handmade takes some time and effort. But I want to shout out to not just a few of these places. I want to shout out all of these places, but I don't have a list. I could probably come up with a list, but I don't have a list. But I want you guys to go. Definitely go. Share your experiences. All this, comment below. Maybe if you've been there, I don't know. 
but when you're also done with all of that fun stuff you also want to go all the way over to this wonderful place called Ohio City Pasta. This is homemade pasta. I cannot I cannot tell you how good this is. This is soft pasta, not this boxed garbage crap you can get at the store. No, 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 no. We don't do that up in this hood. No. We do soft pastas, the ones that you just into your pot for only two minutes and it's done. It's good to go. We're good. Yeah. Now, one of the other one things you just need to get while you're there at the West Side Market is what's called a pizza bagel. These things are delicious and delicious. I mean, oh my goodness. Now, maybe not everyone might like them, but come on, pizza bagel. Now, right next to or right behind, depending on how you see this, Euro Sweets currently there is a stall called Pizza and they have the pizza bagels. There is a I, I talked to the lady there and she said that there used to be another old lady that used to make them and she's no longer there but pizza bagels and the West Side Market literally go hand in hand. It is one of the things that they are most famous for. You walk in there, you gotta get yourself a pizza bagel. Yeah, it might be cold but you go home, you warm it up in the oven and mwah, beautiful. I mean, look at this bag of deliciousness. And this is a six pack. Look at the, look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness. Mwah. Beautiful. And don't get me wrong. These things go faster than anything. Well, maybe not there, but in my family, they go faster than anything. And if you're wondering if this is Carb Central, no, it is not. They have a multitude of places. They have a bunch of meats. They have a bunch of... Uh, they, they're, I don't even... I can't even tell you the amount of things they have inside because there's just so much to go through. And it is just beautiful after beautiful after... Oh my god. Now, for a very long time, my grandmother's father, so my grandfather on my mom's side of the family, would always call the bathrooms the comfort stations. And I never knew the reason as to why this was a thing until she, so, she showed me this one day. I mean, it is one of the weirdest things to put there, but like for the restrooms, I thought it was hilarious. And God bless my grandfather, both of them, but like knowing that that's there forever is probably one of the funniest things ever. But one of the coolest things there has to be that they have a restaurant connected to this market area. And you can just walk on in. And it's called the West Side Cafe. Take a look at that. Now, to my surprise, there was actually an older gentleman outside that cafe who has been there for a very long time. And I actually did a little interview. I wouldn't really call it an interview, but I talked to him for a little bit and dude, dude, dude. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna play the clip. Roll it! Anyways, so how long have you been working here for? 54 years. 54 years? Yeah, Cleveland Food Bank, Hunger Network, and uh, booth 61, 62, and 63 at the West Side Market. Nice! And, and you said there's another uh, exact, there's another market like this in Budapest, Hungary? Budapest Public Market in the country of Budapest, Hungary. Nice. You pull that up on your website, and that'll take you on a journey of what this one will be looking like since 1908. Well, I've been coming here since I was a little kid. My mom would always bring me here. My dad was exactly the same. First places we would actually uh, visit nowadays. Yep. It's all the way over in you, you come as a baby and you and, and, and you never leave. Well, it's funny because now my sister has kids yes. of her own. And they're going to be coming here eventually. Well, please invite them down to the West Side Market. Please support our national and local treasure here at the West Side Market. I will say, bid you adieu for a while, but thank you for sharing your morning with us. 
Now, if you're wondering if there's enough space, there is enough space, plenty of parking just for you, your friends, your families, your family's friends, your neighbors, your neighbor's dogs, your dog's dog's friends, family. It doesn't matter. There's plenty of space. Just mind the every now and then traffic jam. But if you did like this, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Yo, the people on Rumble, I love you, but make me go viral and I guarantee you I will do another one of these things. Don't know when, probably do Amish country, might even do the corn statues in Dublin. Don't know, we'll figure it out. But until next time, y'all take care, stay villainous. Goodbye! <laughs>